Hi, I'm Liam, welcome to Book Films, and today it's about a week away from The Calm Before, which is Season 9, Episode 15, the episode that many, most people presume that we're going to see what we're calling the, the Spike King. If you've read the comics, you know that at the fair, the Whisperers take away a bunch of people and they kill, I think it's 12 in... in the comics and they behead all these people including a bunch of uh, very popular and famous characters and um, about a week away uh, I want to predict who I think is going to be the deaths uh, I've made a little document up here I'm just going to read through it who I think is going to die there's literally no basis or benefit or, or, or of this whatsoever there because I I, I know that it may be out there on, on Spoiling the Walking Dead. I'm going to disable the comments because I don't want to know officially. I just want to speculate, and you should too. And I think it's cool to speculate. Um, and here's my predictions. Um, I think there's going to be 10, not 12. And I think Angela Kang is going to go in a direction where there will all be relatively known characters. I'm starting from the left with the least known characters. I'm going to go towards the right. I think this is how the show will do it as well. They'll start with less known characters, and then the big reveals will be at the end. Uh, so first of all, you can see uh, Cal uh, from the hilltop. Yep, I think he's dead. I think he was long gone, supposed to die in all that war, essentially. There's no Eduardo anymore. He's left the show. Um, so I think that Cal is a pretty good one. He's relatively recognisable given his ethnicity. And he's kind of, uh, uh, he's been in the background of a bunch of episodes in season nine. And I think that's definitely building him up to be someone that's going to die. Same for number two, DJ from Alexandria. Now, uh, DJ is an ex-saviour, so that's a good one because we don't have many ex-saviours other than like Laura and Frankie who are still around. I think DJ will be a goner because he's definitely become something of a cult favourite, appearing in a lot of background episodes. I think he's a regular enough face that people will know him when he's dead. Now, moving on to Marco, between Ken and Marco at the start. Ken obviously died in the first episode, but I think Marco has been around for a while. I'd really rather he didn't die. I'm quite liking to begin to like Marco, but he's he's a background character, but he's not an extra. You definitely remember his face. He gets quite a lot of lines, and I think that's probably because he's going to die. Now, that's two for Hilltop, one for Alexandria. You'll see as we get into this list that Hilltop is uh, going to face a lot of deaths, but we, we can discuss that as we go. Next moving on to Rodney, he's one of the teenagers, so there's Will, uh, there's um, Henry, there's Adeline, there's Rodney and then there's Gage. I think Gage is going to be like the bully Brandon Rose character of this. Um, I think he's Brandon Rose in the story, whatever form that takes. Um, and then we have Rodney, and then we have Adeline. I think Adeline is going to become basically new Sophia. Henry is Carl 2.0. We have Lydia in that dynamic. And I think Rodney is completely, uh, he's not needed in that. And he can push the teen storyline forward because one of their core group has been lost. And I think that's a pretty essential character development. Obviously for these three here, there's not so much character development, but... Um, it's basically just taking people out, making sure everyone feels the pain, really. Now, uh, our next one is Tammy Rose. Tammy Rose um, died in the comics, and I think she's going to die here. Between Earl and Tammy, I think that Earl is going to be forced to raise this baby alone. That's going to be his storyline for the next few seasons, and obviously he's going to become more used as Henry learns to become a blacksmith, and as they go to war... Earl will have to create more weapons, and I think him having to create more weapons despite getting old, and then also the fact that he is going to be raising a baby is what's going to mean, it, that's going to be his story pushing forward, and that's going to be his involvement in the plot as Tammy will die. And obviously from Hilltop again. Now, next we have Kelly. Uh, in the comics, it's Luke who dies, but given that four out of the five members are girls, I think it will be one of the females who dies, and I think it's going to be Kelly. Connie is quickly becoming one of the most popular characters on the show, and especially with her pairing with Daryl, I think that's definitely going to go some places. And I think instead of Daryl losing someone and then becoming uh, as a, the sad version of himself that we've seen with Beth and we've seen with Denise and we've seen with Merle. I think instead having someone close to him like Connie lose someone like her sister Kelly and then having Daryl be the one that pulls someone out of that dark place is a nice role reversal and will show some great development for Daryl as well as development for Connie as she's kind of left on her own. Her crutch per se is taken out. 
and obviously that's another Hilltop Survivor. Next we have Nabila. I've debated about this one a lot. I think they are going to need to take some people from the Kingdom. The Kingdom doesn't really have too many people. I don't think anyone would be particularly upset if Diane died um, uh, in the terms of the show, not in terms of the fans. But I think taking Nabila away, especially as she's the father of Jerry's children, is definitely going to push him into some super dark places. And I'm very excited to see if they can turn Jerry into quite a serious... Uh, yeah, he can keep keep that comedic edge, but a serious kind of barbaric character with that accent. Make him go a little Viking crazy, I reckon. Uh, next we have Enid. Now this one might be a surprise to people, but um, if you've been looking somewhat at the rumours online, she's announced that she's moving to California. And to me, that spells death. I think Enid would be a big shock because she's been around since season five. She's always been kind of a background character, and I can understand why she would want to move on. She's currently dating Alden, and I think Alden is really, really waiting to step into the story and to become something of a main character. And I think with Enid dying, it would be a big shock to everyone, and I think... Uh, it would push Alden into new territory and potentially up him into onto the main cast because I definitely think he has the potential to be. Next we have Rosita. Now Rosita is a, is a confusing one. She definitely died this way in the comics but she was nowhere near as important a character and most people thought that they were going to avoid her comic death but ever since she has been announced as pregnant I think that she's gone for essentially. Now whether she is actually, whether this is all big, uh, mis big misdirection, they're actually going to keep her alive, uh, is up for debate. But I think her being central in the relationship between Sadiq, Gabriel and Eugene is probably meaning she's going to die. Killing a, a pregnant lady is the ultimate form of, of savagery. And I think it's going to be life changing for those three characters. They're going to have to work together. They're going to have to cooperate and they're going to have to deal with the woman that the three of them left behind and I think that's the type of story they can't give up on uh, which is why it spells Rosita dying and uh, I know that might not be a surprise for comic readers but sometimes the comics know best and now our final one is Ezekiel this is the one I'm the least sure about but we know that Ezekiel is probably leaving the show before the end of season 10 and honestly, I think now is the best place for him to go. He hasn't particularly had that much of a story this year, other than wanting to unite the communities, which we know is something that's going to happen in uh, this upcoming episode. And if he does unite the communities, his purpose is basically done. And by killing him, we're going to send Carol back into rage mode. We're going to bring Carol and Henry together. Henry's going to have to step up and try and defend his father. Carol's going to try and... It was going to bring all that trauma back for her. She's had a relatively light season, especially in the second half. She stayed relatively away from the Whisperers. She's stayed kind of light-hearted. I think this will be that darker turn. I, uh, the comparisons between Alpha and Carol are very clear, and I think that a rivalry between Carol and Alpha, these two abused housewives turned badass warriors, is only going to happen if Ezekiel is not in the picture. I know that it's copying his... Comic death, but sometimes, like I said, the comic knows best, and I think that this is the most appropriate time for him to die. He's a very trusting character, so I think having that heel turn at the end of the episode would be a huge shock. Now, just to go over again, oh, wrong way. We're looking at Ezekiel, Rosita, Enid, Nabila, Kelly, Tammy Rose, Rodney, Marco, DJ, and Cal. That's 10 characters. A lot of these guys are from the hilltop, and I do know that, but if you count up the characters, the important characters at least, there is way more characters at the hilltop than any other community. If we lost five members of, of Alexandria, for example, then it would, the cult community would basically collapse. If you took five members of the, of the kingdom, there'd basically be no one. And I know that we have the highwaymen, and I know that we also have the Oceanside coming back, but I think they have appeared not enough time to have to get us to care or know about these characters they might have 12 pikes and they might have other characters like ozzy from the highwaymen or like uh, beatrice from the oceanside or rachel from the oceanside or maybe they'll have um 
if Alexandrians manage to make their way over Scott or Nora, who at the beginning were big predictions of these guys that are going to die, but going from episode 14, they haven't travelled to the fair yet, and I don't see a way that they're going to either get to the fair or that the Whisperers are going to get to Alexandria, behead them, and then carry them all the way over there. Otherwise, Scott or Nora would definitely be on this list. But sometimes I, I think that having a smaller... A smaller list of 10 people, on it, but all of those 10 are people that we recognise. And uh, outside of the wiki and outside of the Reddit and outside of the forums, sometimes I think it is a little uh, hard to remember that a lot of these characters people don't know. Like, I imagine there's quite a few viewers who don't know who Cal, DJ or Marco is, but at least they're recognisable faces. And having 10 very eventful faces, these are guys that are going to have deep founding effects on every group in, in the communities, in every community, and, and all the characters are going to have their lives completely changed, but without sacking the cast of its main players. Because sure, you could kill Eugene and Gabriel and Rosita and, and all these people, but I think with the cast that they have left and killing Rick and Jadis and not bringing Dwight and Morgan back and killing Carl last season and killing Jesus in the mid-season finale, like, they don't have that many cast members left. They're going to have to be very, very careful with who they're killing and making sure that these guys that are killing, that are dying, are pushing new characters into bigger and brighter storylines for the future. So we care about them more, we relate to them more, and come season 10, we are going to be invested, come the Whisperer War. And I think these are the ideal 10 each of them have a purpose and each of them are going to push characters in a new and unique way and it also feels random enough that it feels like they've been chosen at random it doesn't feel like the the main characters have been targeted it doesn't feel like the main characters are safe there's a mix of everyone in there and there's a mix of a bunch of groups so that's my predictions let me know what you think um i will open the comments up once the episode airs tell me if you got it right tell me if you didn't i will be reviewing comments or potentially just disabling them uh, but we'll see how it goes for now i've been liam this is book of films <laughs>